Today's video is all about how to master putting together killer outfits for summer. Specifically, we're gonna be talking about outfit planning. If you watched my Secrets to Great Style video, you know I talked a lot about being intentional. New here? My name is Chi Chi and on this channel we cover fashion, beauty, and a lifestyle. So if you love hauls, lookbooks, vlogs, sis, you found your tribe, subscribe. Now if you watched my Secrets to Great Style video, you know I talked a lot about being intentional with your style. Now if you are looking to revamp or even elevate your style, then sis, this is the video for you. Now you can go ahead and pay a stylist hundreds, if not thousands of dollars for these secrets, or you can get a pen and paper and keep on watching. Make sure to stay tuned till the end of the video so you don't miss any gems. So the first thing I consider when planning outfits is gonna be my calendar, right? I'm gonna look at my calendar for maybe uh, the next seven days or the next three days, however, you know, long I'm trying to plan outfits for. Are there any events coming up? Um, any reasons that I need to get dressed? Maybe I'm going on date night one day. Maybe I'm going to brunch one day or maybe I have a date another day. Maybe I have a meeting or, you know, a pitch, etc., etc. It's a great idea to kind of look at your calendar and figure out what are those key things that are coming up that you know you want to be intentional about getting dressed for. The next thing you want to look at is the weather. Now, you know, <laughs> the weather forecast is kind of like gambling. We'll say it's going to be sunny one day and ends up being raining another day. So I definitely recommend, you know, you look at the weather for the upcoming week, but also that you get in the habit of looking at the weather every couple of days so that if you need to make some adjustments to your look, you know to do it ahead of time. So obviously if it's going to be 85 degrees in sunny I'm not gonna wear an all black outfit right and if it's going to be 65 degrees and cloudy and slightly raining I'm not gonna wear a romper so all these things really matter when you're thinking about putting together your outfits for the week so the next thing I do after I you know look at the weather and look at the events so I kind of start looking through my mental catalog of outfits right if you know I'm if it's that time of the month and I'm feeling a little bloated I'm not gonna want to wear things that are tight right I'm gonna go for my loose fitting shift dresses or my you know loose fitting wide leg pants etc etc I'm gonna go for things that I know that are easy loose not tight and make me feel comfortable right um, and then I'm going to start to kind of like mentally put together outfits like, okay, I want to wear, for example, I have this gorgeous top on. I want to wear this mustard top that I just got. So what bottoms do I have to go with that? So it's kind of like a mental thing. Now, because I do this all of the time, I typically will start off with my mental catalog and then I sometimes will write it down as well, right? And what writing down does for me is that it helps me kind of think through the whole outfit from top to bottom like okay what accessories what am I gonna wear sunglasses what sunglasses am I gonna wear a hat what hat am I gonna carry a what am I gonna carry a different bag what bag right so after I've kind of like mentally brainstormed the outfits and I have written them down the next thing I do is I actually try things on now this <laughs> this is a tip that I learned the hard way okay because a lot of time because I'm constantly putting together looks putting together outfits if for shoots for my blog for creating content for YouTube I have like written down outfits right and then on the day of the shoot or in the day you know that we're supposed to record the video I'll put together the outfit and I'll hate it okay maybe I've gained five pounds maybe I've lost five pounds you know maybe a shoe that I thought was gonna look cute with this doesn't look cute maybe the combination of that top and that skirt just doesn't work so taking that time to actually try things on I cannot stress this enough is a game changer you may not have the time to do this every single week when you try on outfits which is why it's very important to start building your catalog of outfits that you love if you don't know what I'm talking about definitely check out my secrets to style video because 
um, in that video, I kind of mentioned how you create this catalog because when you have that catalog, you can refer back to it to see what combinations already look great together, right? For those weeks that you just do not have time to, you know, do a whole full on try on session. And I will say if trying, and I will say this, if putting together looks for an entire week, so seven days, just seems like too much of, and it seems like a little bit too overwhelming or maybe you're just too short on time, then consider doing it for every three days or even every five days to get yourself in the habit of doing this. So the next thing you wanna do is definitely hang things up, right? If you have the room, I have this rack that you cannot see right now because of how I have my camera angled. But if you watch any of my videos, you've seen my little rack. I have this rack in my room. It doesn't have to be rack. You can go to Target and buy a rack. Amazon got racks. If you have the space for it, I highly recommend you get a rack where you can just put or an, if not a rack, an area in your closet where you can just put together the looks that you've put together, right? put it in that area so you know, okay, these are my outfits for the week. And having a rack really helps because you can also lay out your bags, your shoes, your accessories, etc., etc. So all you have to do when it's time to get ready is just to grab everything and put it on. You don't have to look for anything. You don't have to look for your bag. You don't have to look for your sunglasses. You don't have to spend the extra five minutes wondering if this combination, if this hat and sunglasses combination works or not, right? If you do all of the work beforehand, then it's, it's it's super quick and this is a big tip for my ladies my moms who are like are moms on the go you have you know you have work you have to take the kids to daycare you have 800 billion things you need to do in the morning this is my tip okay for you it's to make it so easy that all you have to do in the morning is put together your outfit is just put on your outfits you don't even have to think about it right now in the event that you do not um that you just don't have the space to have like a dedicated place where you put together these outfits that you've put together. My recommendation is definitely to have those outfits written down, okay? Have it written down somewhere in your phone, somewhere that's super accessible and easy. All of the details, even up to like the lipstick color, all the way down to the earrings that you wanna wear with that outfit, the jewelry you wanna wear, etc., etc. what watch. You know, have it all written down nice and easy for you um, so when that day comes it's just a matter of looking at your your notebook or your phone I kind of already mentioned this but make sure to include your accessories when you're putting together these outfits because I cannot tell you how important accessories are to creating a full outfit an outfit that looks like you put in some effort into it an outfit that looks pulled together and put together so make sure you take the time to also include your accessories right if for no other reason then and it's saving you time when it comes to getting dressed. So I mentioned this a little bit, but you also wanna factor in the entire look, right? You wanna think about, okay, what hairstyle are you currently rocking? Like me, you guys know I wear my wig, so I'm constantly changing my hairstyle. Some days it's long, some days it's shorter, some days it's a curly fro, but factoring in your entire look will help to create a cohesive outfit so if you know you're gonna change from a curly fro to some braids midweek you want to think about that right some outfits look better with curly hair than they look with braids and etc etc and so you want to start thinking about those things right for example if you have a meeting that you're going to right um maybe you're, you have a pitch it's a corporate environment right maybe you want to rock a slick slick back bun instead of you know, I don't know, cornrows, for example. And there's nothing wrong with cornrows, but maybe you want a slick, slick back bun because with a because you're gonna be wearing a power suit and you really want to exude that, you know, boss babe energy, right? So you wanna start thinking about those things. Maybe you're gonna choose a stud instead of some huge hoops, right, for that outfit. You wanna be thinking about what's coming up, where you're going, and how those little details also factor in into creating the outfit or the vibe that you're going for. For example, if you're going to be, you know, pitching a new client, it's a corporate environment. Maybe you don't want to have skittle colored nails that week maybe you want to tell your nail girl to go with something a little bit more 
understated, et cetera, et cetera. So this is the luxury that you have when you plan ahead, right? So you know, okay, maybe not this uh, manicure this week, maybe next week when I'm going on vacation, et cetera, et cetera. Now that I've walked you through the process to use to put together an outfit, I figured we'd actually put together some outfits. Now we're planning outfits for three days, a Friday, a Saturday, and a Sunday, right? So for this Friday, it's basically a work from home day. However, I do have an event that evening. So I know I'm going to be going to an event and I've learned the hard way <laughs> from going to events then when I go to events I feel the most confident when I'm comfortable so that means I will probably opt for a lower heel or flats I will opt for um, um, clothing that I feel is just comfortable and loose no body cons, nothing too tight, nothing too short, nothing that I have to be pulling and pulling for. So being that footwear really matters when I'm going to these events, because honestly, the worst thing you can do is go to an event, have on uncomfortable shoes, and it just ruins your mood, okay? I remember I had, had to host an event um, in a mall, and halfway through the event, oh my God, I was in such a mood, because my feet hurt, and I could not even hide it in my face. And I remember my co-host telling me that she had learned that lesson the hard way that when she comes to these events She always goes for comfortable shoes. So I always keep that at the back of my head, right? And so I'm gonna go with these super easy um, flats that I picked up from ASOS You guys already know that I love shopping at ASOS for because they have a really great wide width section And what I like about their shoes is they're actually like shoes that you know, are current, right? They don't look like wide width shoes. They just look like regular shoes that happen to be wide width. So I love these shoes. These are definitely designer inspired. And since they're kind of like a statement shoe because they have these studs on them, I figured I want to keep the rest of the outfit a little bit more demure. Now this event happens to be an in-store campaign for a major retailer. So there's no need for me to be extra dressy for this. It's kind of like a come shop with me shopping type event, right? Because the shoes are the statement piece, I wanna keep the rest of the outfit kind of simple. So I'm thinking I'm gonna opt for this black linen dress that I just recently picked up. I love this dress because it comes in that fit and flare silhouette. You guys know the fit and flare is one of my signature silhouettes, okay? Because it's super easy, it comes in at the waist and makes your waist look teeny tiny, and then it flares out everywhere. I also love the dramatic billowy sleeves I'm wearing this dress right now in an extra extra large and I feel like I could have gone down a size but that's neither here nor there um and so it was a super easy dress and then to finish things off for a bag I figured since you know we're going into summer let's do a little bit of color so I'm so I'm opting for this like woven um little handheld bag that I just picked up from Amazon also very much designer inspired and voila we have a look i'm comfortable it's dressy enough that if i wanted to swap out my flats for a heel for maybe dinner afterwards i can do that right the best part of the look is that because i feel comfortable in it when i walk into this space um i'm gonna feel confident right because i feel like i look good okay you know what they say when you look good you feel good okay so there you go <laughs> Um, so the next look is going to be, so for, for the following day, the Saturday, I'm running a bunch of errands. I may end up going out to dinner. So I'm looking for a look that I can take from day to night, right? And one of my go-tos, okay, when I don't know what to wear, um, it's going to be always be a blazer. Keep it casual in the day with some slides or some, you know, a pair of sneakers, right? And then you can easily dress it up with a pair of heels. You know, if you want, you can keep the same top or you can, you know, wear something a little bit more fun, a little bit more dressy. And you already know, like this time of year, the weather's just all over the place, right? And so I want to bring a little bit of color. Um, on Sundays, I go to church. And so I thought immediately I'd wear this um, lavender colored where it's super feminine, it's kind of girly, it's colorful, perfect for the season, right? And then most importantly, it's appropriate for the weather of the day. What do you guys think, right? So if you're enjoying the video so far, this is a great time to hit that like button and share. Not only does it pay it forward to our community, but you may not know it, but someone you know may be looking for this exact video. So let's recap. 
start with looking at your calendar. Next, check the weather. Brainstorm your outfits. Try them on. That's so important, I'm telling you. If you have room, hang things up. Don't forget to include your accessories, so important. And remember to factor in your entire look, your hairstyle, your makeup, your nail color, etc., etc. So if you're ready to start your days stress-free, knowing you look great, and we'll start planning your outfits, hit that like button. Speaking of outfits, I know I'm going to get a question about this top. Um, you guys can't see the jeans I have on, but I got a few questions about these jeans. My entire outfit, my wig, this top, my jeans, everything, my watch, everything will be linked on my LTK. And if you're like, Chi Chi, what's LTK? All you have to do is click open the video description below this video. And you will see the Shop My Outfits link. That is where I link 99.9% .9 of the items that I feature, that I wear including this gorgeous top if you're into makeup and beauty my favorite makeup and beauty my everyday foundations etc 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 and while you're there make sure to download the app and follow me planning your outfits for the week not only helps you to reduce indecision fatigue stress it also stops you from running late and it really allows you to start your day in a great head space don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay blessed. Tired of struggling with putting together outfits? Trust me, you're not alone. After getting so many messages from you guys, we created the style template to help you simplify the process. Our style template will teach you how to master putting together outfits for your body and life. Which means you can save time, and you can step out confident without worrying about how you look. Ready to take the stress out of style? To put together outfits that you feel comfortable and chic in? Our style template is waiting for you in the video description. But hurry, lock in that pre-order price now.